Yeah, well going everyone, Sanjay Chia here. So welcome back to the channel. And as you can already tell by the video title and thumbnail, today we'll be covering my impressions of the Black Clover manga. I actually went ahead and read the first three chapters because, you know, friends of mine, they keep asking when I'll get into Black Clover. And if I'm being honest, it's a series I never really saw myself getting into. But here I am three chapters later. And just to, you know, say the long and short of it, I actually liked what I saw, what I read with these three chapters. So I want to confirm my impressions of it with this video. So of course, given the fact that's in my impressions, this is more so for persons who have really and truly are, have become full-blown fans of Black Clover already. So I want to, you know, get your opinion on the series as a whole, um, given how far you are in the series. So leave your comments below. And actually, with this impressions video, I wanted to kind of cover the criticisms I've been hearing about Black Clover over the years, especially when compared to where a lot of those criticisms seem to stem from with the story overall being a kind of copy of Naruto. So, of course, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and let's get into my impressions. <laughs> So I'll say this, over the course of the three chapters that I read, um, lots of the criticisms that I saw persons throw out on the series, I can see where they're coming from. Because for the most part, the series over the first three chapters kind of throws out a lot of the shonen cliches at you. A lot of the tropes, a lot of the, you know, the main character seemingly seems stupid, but, you know, might have a, a sense for battle. You have the rival character the strike seemingly badass rival character we have tournament settings we have the whole focus on friendship a lot of cliches a lot of the tropes that we've come to know in shonen but um what i'll say just to sidetrack a bit is that even though you're working within a genre right there are certain elements to content creation or working within a specific field where producing like anime is concerned or writing in general that you'll come to expect a lot of cliches or tropes to be used and when it comes on to like series like this one thing i look out for is how does the series, series differentiate itself despite the cliches because like in the case of the big three like one piece bleach naruto even though all of them have major similarities considering they're in the same genre which is to be expected each of them i feel do a pretty good job of differentiating themselves and selling themselves to the audience so for the most part when naruto on a whole i'm not gonna get the same vibe when you compare it to like say a one piece it's, I, it's similar but totally different vibe if you get what i mean <laughs> hopefully <laughs> i'm not <laughs> murking that up a bit um too much at least so yeah that's what i want to say so when it comes back to black clover now over the course of the three chapters, it is, I think it does an okay to a decent job of differentiating itself. But in terms of the criticisms, I can definitely see. Because like from chapter one, page one, like it screamed at me like Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. I mean, a human, you know, defending or, you know, protecting the, the remaining um, members of humanity from a demon became the Wizard King. Main character wants to become the Wizard King um it seemed like very similar to like say a naruto where minato the fort okage like protected the village of course he died naruto wants to become the okage but um and of course even asta as a character very positive um but in reading these three chapters it felt there was something I feel like the author or the writer really put in place that really helps to differentiate it from previous series where one the dynamic between the main character and the or before you even get to that let's compare apples to apples the main characters since they're so similar Naruto wanted to become Okage because he wanted to be acknowledged by the village. You know, he grew up as an orphan, which is similar to Asta, <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, he wanted to become Okage to be acknowledged by the members of his village. 
um, of course, this is a way to overcome his loneliness. Asta, funny enough, it's similar, but it kind of treads that fine line between being the same thing, but it's substantially different as well. I see that Asta, in his case, he his battle kind of deals more so along the lines of classism, if you get know what I mean. Because in chapter 1, during Yuno's flashback, we see that Asta says, yo, he's going to prove that people like them, keywords, people like them, can become somebody important. Which really speaks more towards, I mean, it still kind of has to deal with acknowledgement, but it's more about, you know, proving that classism, it, it it, it doesn't matter which class of you know person you are you can become somebody great and what better way than becoming the wizard king which is at the opposite end of where you stand in society right now so on the surface or even even <laughs> beyond the surface to a degree it is kind of it's very similar to naruto but when you reach a certain um part of the story or a certain aspect when you think about it it still has a substantial amount of difference to let it stand up for itself and it extends to even the dynamic and relationship between us and you know where i feel like the dynamic between them is more of a healthy rivalry that i can definitely get behind um in comparison to like say a naruto and sasuke and it's reinforced by the piercing I'd say I see within the story so far where it feels like the author or writer when he was writing it kind of felt like he decided like, okay I'm throwing all these cliches and tropes onto the paper for the audience but the way I'm going to differentiate it or the way I'm going to showcase how I can differentiate it is to like have mad piercing <laughs> for lack of a better term because I'm, I was surprised, personally speaking, when I hit chapter 2 and we're already in like the Magic Knight's entrance exams, like a mini tuning exam arc, um, for lack of a better term, which was like one and a half, two chapters, top chapters two and three. But for the most part, I was not expecting to get like a six month time skip and then Magic Knight's entrance exam from like chapter two and three that was... <laughs> I was not expecting anything like that. So I think so far the piercing, the subtle differences between Naruto and Asta and the dynamic between the rivalry dynamic so far has kind of sold me on continuing the series for the most part. So and I think with the piercing, I can look forward to seeing how the writer is going to continue to differentiate the series from say you know naruto which is where most of the criticism seemed to lie for the story overall so i'm looking forward to seeing it i really enjoyed it um i mean so far characters like yami which i i, I obviously see is obviously a fan favorite character <laughs> within the black clover community already obviously but so far i really liked his character and what was displayed of him in chapters two and three um definitely has that um in terms of like morals and convictions and like what he looks looks out for in other people as you know characters you can see that he really values persons that have conviction and you know value hard work and all of that and sticks to their guts so i think definitely i love yami like most persons seem to <laughs> he does like he definitely has that badass factor of course um pretty laid back but i guess i'll talk more on him as well I don't know when I'm going to do a Black Clover video again, maybe when I catch up. But so far, I'll say I definitely like it. I definitely like it. Um, the criticisms, definitely understand. I can see where they're coming from. But um, it seems to be remedied to a degree with the piercing and the subtle differences from the series that, you know, persons would say it's copying, being Naruto in this case. So personally, I don't think persons probably judged it fairly when it came out maybe um i know persons have been complaining about the animation in the anime and that the anime is not really a not really the best adaptation there is to say the least but it has gotten better in recent years recent times based on what i've been seeing across youtube so yeah but all in all i think black clover Definitely has potential based on what I've seen. It's only three chapters, people. <laughs> only three chapters. But I definitely like it so far. Um, like everything in life, it won't be for everybody. But I'm willing to continue. So let's see where it goes. But anyway. 
this has been something. <laughs> but let me know what you thought about my impression and analysis of the Black Clover story so far. Being only three chapters in, that much more I can say than that. But I think it has potential based on what I've seen so far. And obviously, considering it's what 200 plus chapters in, it must still be doing something right to say the least. If it really and truly builds or makes use of the things I made, you know, notice with like the piercing and the dynamics and the differences between, you know, like say, Naruto and Asta for now, I think the series can go on for a while. There's a lot of things that I think can be explored in a world of magic. So, yeah. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this and mm, see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.